when I did this run, it was kind of more like running continuous half marathons. So it wasn't that hard, and I don't think it required much training. You just have to have mentality for it. For 14 years old, son they say Brianna Murrin not only has perseverance, but also physical stamina. After all, there's not many people who can say they ever spent the days leading up to July 4th running down the southernmost tip of the U.S. For the high school sophomore, the journey would begin as an idea for a family trip. We were like, why don't we just run through the Florida Keys and bring the flag to honor the veterans on the 4th of July. We had to try to break up 100 miles into manageable pieces. Over six days, Brianna's run took her from Key Largo all the way down to Key West. Each day she would run 20 miles, all the while carrying the American flag. But while some sights were majestic to see, the long trek down Route 1 was still tough. You would wake up in the morning around 4.30ish. We'd drive to where we left off the day before, and then we'd run towards the last few miles of each run. My legs would kind of be sore, and I'd be like, I just want this to be over with. It was hard. Yet the run was not one that Brianna would make alone. Her little sister Danielle and father Chris would be at her side every day. Her mom would also drive ahead to make sure roads were clear. Everything kind of evolved, and I think we got a lot more out of it. And through it all, the family encountered something else. Just running along and people honking at us and saying, good job. The gratitude of many strangers. As we are running, some cars would honk and people would salute. When we were running, there was this man who was running the opposite direction of us, and he just stopped and he saluted us the entire way we were running. It was really touching. It all culminated with a moment that Brianna still remembers. When we were running, it was like the run, like maybe the last hundred meters, and I couldn't believe that it was right there. The thrill of the finish. There are like people taking pictures and we kind of just busted up in there and we, we just were like, we're finally done. It was amazing. I'm really, really, really proud of them. And looking back, this 14-year-old says her experience gave her pride in one thing, the people of her country. A lot of people make the argument that the love for America has died down, but after running through this, I've realized that people still love America as much as they did back in the day.